flee from discouragement. If discouragement is not overcome, disappointment follows. If a monk neglects that too and does not take care of it, remaining discouraged and disappointed, hopelessness will come. Despair. If that prevails, then psychological problems begin. That's where psychological problems come from. Because despair disrupts the spiritual world, it disrupts the logical understanding of a person's identity. And then we go to psychologists for a pill to comfort us. That's the cause. Why discouragement? Do we allow the devil to play the role of a liar for us? We already know very well that there isn't a single day in our life, not even one, without us sinning. Because after the fall of Adam and Eve, we experience the downfall. We don't have the ability to remain immovable, as we are influenced by our surroundings. And as a result of this, if I may say so, we make mistakes. Then the devil comes to play the advocate, that infallible one to tell us that we are sinful. How many times have I told you to rise with courage, saying, get back to where you came from. You bring me discouragement. I will go now to my father and confess to him. It is here that the son of the living God desired to adopt me and to remove you, and you're playing the role of my lawyer. This is how you should respond to discouragement, because courage is the driving force. It is energy, just like electricity, just like fuel. Why should we lose courage? Yes, we have indeed made mistakes. But is there such a thing as a sinless life? Then I turn many times to our Christ and argue with him in my despair, saying, O merciful one, are the millions of repentant souls to whom you not only forgave but also clothed in the reward of sanctification, and who now gather around your throne, made saints by their own heroism. Did they not become that way by your grace, my Lord? And I am one of them. I am persistent, and I will not stop knocking at the door. You will open it for me. You are the truth, you are life, you are the resurrection. This is how I want you to fight, how I want you to battle. Do we not have examples of misguided people, who reached the depths of nothingness and returned? not only defeating sinfulness, but entering into holiness, uniting with the saints and shining forth.